Hi guys, so today I'm going to challenge to read this two book, but not the whole page, but I'm going to read ten, page, 10 pages. So this one, I love this book. It says Rainbow Magic and it's Evie the Miss Fairy. I got rainbows. And that's Cinderella and it's and it's written by Sally Gardner. And this one is um, Daisy Meadows. That's a good name. So, let's go. Hello. Okay. I'm going to start with this. So, you can color this. So, I don't want to color it because I just got from the library so this is the town river with bori village yeah i'm not gonna read it okay. so this is the page nine wake up sleepyhead cried kirsty teeth to her friend, Rachel, as she jumped out of bed and started to dress, Rachel Walker was asleep in the spare bed in Kirsty's room. She was staying with Kirsty and her parents in the village of Weatherbury, sleepily. She rolled over and opened her eyes. I was dreaming. That we were back in Fairyland. She told Kirsty the weather was topsy, turvy, sunny, and snowy. All at the same time. And Doodle was trying to sort it out. Doodle the fairy's magic weather curl had been on Rachel's mind a lot lately because she, she and Kirsty were on an important fairy mission. Each day in Fairyland, with the help of the weather fairies, Doodle used his magic tail feathers to organize the weather. Each of the seven magic feathers controlled a different kind of weather. And each of the seven weather fairies was responsible for working with one father in particular the system worked perfectly until me me and old jack frost sent seven goblins to steal doodle's magic feather The, glo the goblins ran off into the human world with one feather each and when poor Doodle followed them out of fairyland. He found himself transformed into a rusty metal, metal weather vane. The queen of the fairies had asked Rachel and Kirsty to help find the magic feathers and return them to Doodle. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fairyland weather was all mixed up and the goblins had been using the feathers to cause weather. Shoes in the human world too. Poor Doodle, Kirsty said, looking out of the window at the old 
barn where the cook girl was per perch. Her dad had found doodles lying in the park and thinking he was an or ordinary weather vane. Mr. Tate had brought him home and put him on the barn roof. Hopefully, we'll find another magic feather today. Kirsty continued, we've already found four of the stolen feathers. We just need to find the other three and then Doodle will get his magic back. Yes, Rachel agreed, brightening at the top. But I have to go home in three days, so we don't have long. As she gazed out at the blue sky, a wisp of silvery mist caught her eye. Look at the cloud, it's the shape just like a feather, she said. Kirsty, look where Rachel was pointing. I can't see anything, Rachel. Looked again. The wispy shape had vanished. Per perhaps I imagine it, she sighed, turning away to dress. The memory of the dream fizzed in her tummy like lemonade bubbles. It fell like a magical start to the day. She loved staying with Kirsty and sharing fairy adventures with her. The girls had met whilst on holiday on Rainspell Island with their parents.